G'day, Jeff Lewis here from Seriously Series and welcome to another trip preparation video. In this series of videos we talk about everything that you possibly could need for your next big adventure. Keeping things simple but yet effective. Today what I'm going to talk about is what I take away when I'm just purely using a number no. 5 ex Australian Army trailer. I've currently been on the road for three weeks and basically all the camping gear that I've used is in this very trailer. So if you want to find out this and more then you know what to do. Click on that subscribe button down below, click on that notification button too, but most importantly stay tuned. So as you can see, pretty simple setup. All the longer items that I require are in the centre of the trailer, like the camp chairs, which I've got two of, because I'm travelling with company. I've then got additional poles to use for putting up canvas tarpaulins. And I've got a tent in here too, and I'll talk a little bit about that in another video. It's a Southern Cross, I call it a centre pole tent or a pyramid tent, and these are by far the best out there on the market. Very, very simple to use. Anyway, I'll get the tent out and get a few other things out, and then I'll run through the rest of the items in the trailer and how they're actually laid out and more. Rightio, so this is it. Uh, I've taken the tent out, which as I said is a Southern Cross tent, and it's a really, really good tent. Uh, fits, I guess, the period or the style of how we roll here at Seriously Series. Uh, this trailer, as you know, number five trailer, I've talked about it on the channel before. Um, you can check out our unique 4x4 uh, series of videos and I do a full expose on the number 5 trailer, what it is, what it's about, and a heck of a lot more. I've got three fuel jerry cans over here carrying diesel, so 60 litres in total. I've then got a spout attachment for it, makes filling it up or filling up the vehicle a lot easier because I'm actually not in a Land Rover on this trip. I know, naughty Jeff, naughty Jeff. It's not a new fancy modern Land Cruiser, so don't feel like you have to banish the channel from your subscription list. Um, and it isn't a fancy new Range Rover Vogue thing or whatever. Um, it's something a little bit more agricultural than that, but I'll talk about that on the channel and, and in upcoming videos. So stay tuned and yeah, I hope that wasn't too much of a shock for you. Anyway, I've got jumper leads in here wheel chocks, which are always handy to have, and a bit of dust too. There's quite a few flying dates around here also, where we're camped tonight. This is our cutlery box, and basically that's got everything that we need, and by we I mean my family, uh, my wife Claire and my son Henry. And that's basically got our plates, Billy, um, yeah, cutlery, washing up gear and all the rest. And that's all we really need and that's pretty comfortable for us. Uh, air compressors up the back here, I'll give you a bit more of a shot of that. Um, tent sits on top here. We've then got a Coleman table, which I really like the Coleman tables. They're simple and effective. Under that, we've then got the very well-traveled 
barbecue grill plate, which is sensational. And then we've got a spare tire uh, for the number five trailer, because as I said, I'm not traveling in a Land Rover vehicle, so the stud pattern and the tire size is completely different. So that's one shortfall. Axe shovel over here, jacking plate or chopping board is always very handy. And then tools, you always got to have tools, even if you don't have a Land Rover, you still need to use them. And all my tools now, these days I guess, fits into a fantastic Australian made bag by none other than Grab Me Gear. And I've talked about these products on the channel before. They're really, really good, they're robust, they're what I call Land Rover proof. So if they're Land Rover proof, they'll pretty much survive in any other vehicle, even a larder. So that's basically all the tools in there. It's a typical tool set that I take, you know, uh, what is it, AF and metric spanners, uh, half inch socket set, soldering iron, um, screwdrivers, a uh, few different sets of pliers and circlet pliers and all the rest, so basically, and punches, so I can basically do 99% of all jobs on the trailer and the vehicle. Grab me gear ground sheet, sheet slash uh, tarp, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you can just use it for just about anything. Uh, for shelter, I've used it for that on the trip, um, just even as a doormat, works great. Lying it down on the ground underneath the trailer just to tighten up the U-bolts and all the rest, brilliant for that too. And we had the misfortune on this trip of a rock going through the back window of the vehicle that's towing the number five trailer. So it actually acted as a dust shield. We were able to tuck it into the door and that got us out of trouble. So, very handy. I've then got my little briefcase, which I've talked about before on other videos, but I just think it's really good to take stuff like this. Um, this has got all my auto electric gear in it and more. So, I've got, you know, steel wool here. So if I forget the matches, um, I can just arc that out with the uh, jumper leads as I've showed already on the channel and I can get a fire going. Uh, I've got heat shrink, I've got multi meter, I've got yeah, pretty much everything you need. An assortment of nuts and bolts too and I've got some Lucas points in here also. So basically all manner of things can be sorted. Uh, recovery gears down this side too, which I carry on this trip. I just chucked in my little very um, well used ARB going away bag, which works well. And then this cute little container is my spare parts. And these are, or this is, I should say, really just full of uh, wheel bearings for the trailer. And I think I've got yeah, a couple of suspension bushes in there too, just in case. And a couple of connectors that didn't make it into the next box. So that's basically pretty much it, other than the space case, uh, which has all our food and non-perishable items in it. And I have got a grease gun too, because this trailer is set up with grease nipples on either hub so I can just put a few pumps of bearing grease in there from time to time and as I said that's pretty much it so anyway simple setup an effective setup um, there's a few other little bits and bobs in here that I've probably missed like the Fisker axe and shovel but they're pretty commonplace items that you yourself probably take away camping anyway so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe it gives you a few ideas or just a, I guess, few extra options and food for thought as to what to do with your off-road going trailer or maybe you're in the marketplace for purchasing a number five trailer too, which if you are, do check out the Facebook group, Number Five Trailer. Um, there's a lot of dedicated individuals who really love these trailers like I do 
and more. So if you're looking for information, that's the place to go. Also, Ramalar, which I'll put in the content section down below, has a huge amount of information on these trailers too. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching this video, and if you are enjoying the content here at Seriously Series, I know I say this at the end of every video, but it does make a massive difference to this channel. Please do check out Seriously Series on Patreon by clicking on the Patreon icon at the top right hand corner of your screen. And if you're new to the channel and you like the content and you're trying to figure out what we do and all the rest and you want to see our videos pop up in your news feed each week, click on that subscribe button, click on that notification button too. It doesn't cost you a cent. Anyway, I hope to see you in our next video.